Do it what I eat in a day. Do it what I eat in a day. Do it what I eat in a day. Do it what I do it what do it. Do it what I eat in a day. Do it what I eat in a day. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it what I eat in a day. Okay. Let's get into it. <laughs> Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Crystal. I am a registered ER nurse, self-taught chef, and foodie. And today, I'm going to be doing the highly requested what I eat in a day. So if you watch my previous videos, you know that I use my fitness pal. My fitness pal is a free app. They do have a premium version, but I use the free app and it just allows me to stay on track. These meals that I'm eating, whatever I eat, I take that app and I scan or I type in what I'm eating. It allows me to know how many calories I have left for today and it holds me accountable. So for breakfast, I'm having oatmeal. I usually like to have oatmeal for breakfast because I wanna start my day full. So I like to take my oatmeal, sprinkle a little cinnamon on it, a little nutmeg. I put some uh, walnuts on it and I eat it. It's very enjoyable, it keeps me full. I know a lot of people don't like turkey bacon, but you never had turkey bacon like mine. I season my turkey bacon, not with salt or anything like that. I just put a little pepper and some salt-free herbs on it just to give it a little character. So when I'm fixing my food, I like to sit everything out in like a way that makes me wanna eat it. So every meal that I eat when I'm at home, I try to prepare it in a way that makes me feel like I'm not on a diet. And you wanna be excited to eat your food. You know you're doing good on your weight loss journey if you're preparing your meals and it's making someone who is not even trying to eat healthy on a diet want some too. If your meals are not like that, then you need to, you need to fix it. I let y'all know about grapefruit being a great snack in my last video. So if you haven't seen that one, then definitely um, click the link below and check out that video. So prepare you a plate. Put your bowl out, put your plate out, put all of your things that's gonna go with it. So you will wanna sit down and have this meal. All right, so moving on to lunch. For lunch, we are having a shake. I got some flax seeds. I got my protein powder. Shakes contribute a lot to my weight loss success because you don't even have to think about what you're eating. You're gonna have a shake, it's gonna keep you full. It's giving you your protein, it's giving you some nutrients. We had a pretty big breakfast. So the shake is just basically gonna keep us, keep our appetite curved all the way until it's time for our snack or our dinner. So I'm gonna show you guys how I make a shake typically. Now I get really creative with my shakes. Today, I am low on ingredients, so I'm just making just a basic vanilla shake. Um, I usually like to add some bananas and different things like that, but today, we are going to do one scoop of protein shake. I'm almost done with this, y'all. I like this one because it's 100 calories per scoop, so I can basically, if I'm watching my calories, I still get um, 15 grams of protein and it's low calorie. So I'm gonna take one scoop. It's almost time for me to order more. And it actually tastes good too. That's what I like about it. Put one scoop in there. All right, so the next thing that we're gonna put in our shake is flax seeds. Flax seeds are really good. Um, they give you omega-3s. I used to take a tablespoon and put it in. They also help you stay full and that's key. So we already have two things in our shake that's gonna keep us full. We have protein and we have a scoop of flax seed. And this is um, ground up flax seeds. The next thing I like to add are these candy walnuts. These are a great snack, but they're also like a good topping and something um, to add in your shake. I'm just gonna put a few in there. I also like to take a Biscoff cookie. I like to take one, break it in half and put it in there. And then I like to take another one and put this to the side because this is gonna be kind of like our crumble at the end. Peanut butter. A 
I take a tablespoon. I don't like for my shake to taste nasty, so we fix this up. Next thing I add is some almond milk. I like to use the unsweetened kind. Pour it in there. After you add all of your ingredients in there, I love this thing. It's very good for shakes. I don't really make many smoothies in here. I just pretty much like make my shakes in here. I take this to work with me. I take this on the go with me. If you are on this journey and you're ready to get results and you don't want to catch yourself slipping, have a portable blender. It doesn't have to be, be the blend yet. This is just the one I got. You can get a portable blender anywhere. All you got to do is when, something, when temptation hits you, when somebody's like, you, you want some Popeyes? You want some, you want some donuts? You want, you want to go get some of this? You want to go get some of that? You pull it out like a weapon. Can't have me a milkshake. Call it a milkshake. Trick your mind. Call it a milkshake. It's a milkshake. I'm sorry, I can't go. I'm sorry. No, I would rather have my shake. Make your, let your shake be that good to where you turn it down an ice cream date because you got this. Have it on the go. This is my favorite on the go thing. I like to take my cookie, crumble it up. Got my cup, my shake is ready. Sometimes when I'm at work, I actually will just pop, a, take the lid off of this, pop a straw in and drink it out of here. But since I'm at home and we trying to make things enjoyable, we trying to make our journey fun, we trying to feel like we at an ice cream bar, we gonna do it this way. I got me a frosted glass, okay? I got my shake. Look at that. It's good. Try them. I challenge y'all, replace one meal with a shake. That's the, that's the challenge for the week. Replace one meal with a shake. Sip your shake and get to your goals. Hello, kitchen. It's me again. <laughs> it's time for a snack. If you haven't already, please watch my last video I posted on the different snacks that I like to eat that helps me stay on track, fight those cravings, and continue to lose weight. We eating. Do y'all get what I mean when I say when you eating the right things, you can eat more? I'm going to have some guacamole, some salsa, some chips, and some of my peppers. Guacamole, one of my favorite snacks. I love avocados. I eat avocados like it's nobody's business. On my wraps, I eat avocados on my burgers. I eat avocados in my salad. Instead of having all chips, we're gonna have some peppers with it. Still good, still give me that crunch, still satisfies me. So for dinner, we're going to have spinach and we're gonna have a sweet potato. So when I'm making my spinach, I like to load it up. I put my olive oil in a skillet. I like to cut up onions, bell peppers, some mushrooms. And I like to saute that up, add me some garlic powder, black pepper, um, onion powder, my favorite salt-free seasoning. Me a sweet potato in the oven. It's done cooking in about 30 minutes or so. Literally, that's my meal. I've stayed within my calories. It's so good, it's so savory. I'm good to go. Nothing special, very simple, very realistic. This is like a typical meal for me. All of my meals are not just extravagant but they keep me full and they allow me to keep seeing results congratulate yourself give yourself a pat on the back for every good choice that you make for yourself give yourself a pat on the back because you're doing it every day is not going to be perfect every day is not going to be an extravagant meal make your journey adapt to you don't make no excuses we got this nobody can stop you from getting to the next level but you Nobody can stop you from seeing results but you. Nobody can do it for you. I hope you guys enjoy my What I Eat in a Day. Make sure that you are following Chubby Cheeks page. I will put it to the side here. And also follow my personal page. I'm always posting. I'm always down to talk and answer any of your questions. 
Um, but that's pretty much all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoy. And until next time, I will see you on my next post, on my next video, or maybe in the streets. We don't know. Peace.